Shin 3 and So Bong are slowly but surely coming to an understanding, and learning to lean on each other just when it becomes crucial for their survival. Nam Shin 3 is a difficult nut to crack, being alternately transparent and open, then closed off and secretive, but one thing seems clear, he's starting to transfer his loyalty from his mother to the person who now acts like she cares for him the most, So Bong. Episode 13 recap weeks ago, as Chairman Nam had watched the news update on Jin's behavior at the airport, when he hit So Bong for photographing high, he'd thought to himself, Shin ah, you don't plan to return. Do you? Is this what you meant by something amusing? If so, I'll play a little prank as well. That's when he's begun pretending to have dementia, as a way to determine who's on his side. But Arm um, Shin 3 can tell he's lying when he confesses, through his internal lie detector. Pretending to be Shin, he tells Chairman Nam that he figured it out because he's not someone who would give up so easily. The chairman laughs at how upset those who believe it must be. He says it will be fun to watch the show, and he tells Nam, Shin 3 and So Bong to keep their mouths shut. They all see Young Hoon standing nearby, and the chairman says the warning applies to him, too. Young Hoon helps the chairman to bed, and the chairman asks if he's disappointed that he lied to him. Young Hoon doesn't answer, so Chairman Nam explains that he wants to see how people truly feel, asking why Young Hoon has never tried to stab him in the back like John Gill. At Young Hoon's stunned expression, Chairman Nam says he was joking and sends him away. But he calls out after him that he can call him, Grandpa, whenever he wants, and he'll consider him another grandson. Worried about the Chairman's lie, So Bong advises Nam Shin 3 to be careful around him. Nam Shin 3 says cheerfully that he's not scared of humans, Boo So Bong says he should be scared of the things humans do. Jong Gil calls her and she freaks out a little, wondering what to say, but Young Hoon arrives just in time and tells her to put it on speakerphone and do as he says. She obeys, and Jong Gil asks if she saw the chairman today. At Young Hoon's nods and head shakes, she confirms that Chairman Nam was acting strange today, and that he hasn't met with his lawyer about changing his will, and that Yenna was there today as well. Jong Gil orders her not to tell anyone that he knows of the chairman's dementia, not even Yenna, then hangs up. Young Hoon suggests they continue pretending Chairman Nam has dementia until John Gil takes the bait, and Nam Shin 3 worries that he'll keep winking now that so many people are lying. John Gil notices that Yenna seems upset, and he asks if she has anything to tell you him. She asks him the same question, but instead of mentioning what they both believe is the Chairman's dementia, John Gil says he wishes should set her heart on someone other than Shin. Yenna just tells him to be content like any ordinary father or father-in-law, and he chuckles that he never wanted to be ordinary. In the morning, Nam Shin 3 bursts into So Bong's room ready to work out, and when So Bong tosses a pillow at him, he smacks it in her face, ha. Huh? He smilingly informs her that she's gained weight, and even offers to help her get dressed if she's tired, and she agrees just to stop him from seeing her naked. She's whiny during their jog, and wails that she feels like dying. When Nam Shin 3 offers to give her mouth to mouth, she accuses his lie detector of being broken, and he says he was just bluffing like she always does. Ha, the robot is learning her tricks. He takes pity and offers to piggyback her, overriding her objection by reminding her that she said she didn't have any feelings for him. As he carries her, Nam Shin 3 tells So Bong that he's been monitoring her sleep quality, and he asks if she's having trouble sleeping because of John Gil. She sighs that between hiding his identity and the chairman's fake illness, things are getting complicated. Nam Shin 3 suddenly mentions how his physical and mental abilities are far better than a human's, adding, I'm saying that you can relax when I'm with you. Oh, sweet robot. So Bong feels uncomfortable and gets down, reminding Nam Shin 3 that she's his master, and continues jogging. Neither of them sees Snake watching them from some trees nearby. He'd seen Shin being taken away in an ambulance after being hit by the truck, and he thinks to himself that Shin looks too good for a guy who recently lost so much blood. Back at the house, So Bong fusses at Nam Shin 3 for reading her vital signs in case someone overhears and figures out that he's a robot. A little voice chirps, robot, and they looks down to see Ho Yun's son, He Dong, but luckily he's just talking about the toy robot he's holding, which Nam Shin 3 said he could have. Ho Yun plucks the robot from her son, reminding him that toys like that will only make him like Shin. She says it's time to visit Grandpa, ignoring the boy's protests that he's scared of the family patriarch. 
As they leave, Nam Shin 3 scans the young child and sees the medical device in his heart. Oh wow, the little guy has a pacemaker. He tells So Bong that he's seven years old, and that he's their friend, because he's a cyborg just like So Bong. He frowns as He Dong slips his mother's phone out of her pocket without her noticing. He Dong is so afraid of Chairman Nam's glower that he drops the juice he's holding onto the bed and runs. Ho Yun swears that he really is brave and begs her father to be nice to him, but Chairman Nam just tells her wearily to go to her son. Nam Shin 3 and So Bong find He Dong a second before Ho Yun does. She looks at her son then shoes them away, but So Bong wants to call an ambulance when He Dong starts coughing. The little guy begs her not to let his grandfather find out he's sick, then passes out. Nam Shin 3 finds the cell phone where He Dong has hidden it in his clothes and throws it away. He Dong almost immediately starts to recover, ah, the phone was interfering with his pacemaker. Nam Shin 3 tells Ho Yun not to allow a cell phone that closed to He Dong again. Later, Nam Shin 3 visits He Dong in his room to return his mother's phone and ask why he didn't want them to call an ambulance. He Dong says that Chairman Nam will hate him if he discovers He Dong is sick because being weak is bad. Nam Shin 3 says that what's as bad is hating to be weak, and tells He Dong not to hide his illness anymore. When Ho Yun's phone lights up with a call from Jong Gil, He Dong whines that he's scared of him, but Nam Shin 3 promises to kick his butt and makes the little guy laugh. Ho Yun finds them together and warns Nam Shin 3 not to tell Chairman Nam about He Dong, but he says earnestly that it's a rule not to break promises. Ho Yun kicks him out of He Dong's room, then finds a message from Jong Gil on her phone saying that she needs to give him evidence of Chairman Nam's dementia. He Dong tells her not to listen to that bad man because someone will kick his butt, but she wails that Jong Gil will figure out he's sick. She calls Chairman Nam's doctor to ask for a note about his dementia, then takes it to Jong Gil and his sidekicks. He calls a board meeting to announce the chairman's illness, with the doctor's note as proof, and to discuss requesting his resignation. One board member says it's hard to believe, but Nam Shin 3 walks in and says it's true that Chairman Nam has dementia. He holds up a pen recorder, and we see that Nam Shin 3 had convinced Ho Yun to record their conversation when she gave Jong Gil the doctor's note. Nam Shin 3 notes Jong Gil's expression and asks if there's something on the recorder he doesn't want the board members to hear. Without waiting for an answer, he plays the conversation between Jong Gil and his cronies where they plan to get rid of Chairman Nam. Ha, huh, Jong Gil looks like he sucks a lemon, but he says there's nothing wrong with holding a meeting. Nam Shin 3 announces that in fact the chairman isn't sick, and he calls Young Hoon and the doctor into the room to prove it. The entire room is still in shock when Nam Shin 3 brings in his final evidence, Chairman Nam himself. He'd been in on the plan from the beginning, having been convinced by Nam Shin 3 to do this for He Dong's sake. He pats Nam Shin 3 proudly, and Nam Shin 3 leaves him to finish the meeting. He meets So Bong in the hallway where she was listening in, and he grabs her hand to prove she's lying when she says he didn't seem that cool. Nam Shin Iii's watch battery beeps that it's low, so So Bong texts Young Hoon to ask where to find the backup. In the meeting, Chairman Nam plays the recording of Jong Gil's cronies planning his removal, but Toadie slips Jong Gil a note pointing out that his voice isn't on.